have to win that one twice tonight. What what impressed you the most with that performance? Uh, I think um, the way that uh, we controlled the tempo for that game. Um, I thought the guys did a good job trying to stick to the scout. Um, Sydney, Sydney, they you know playing at home, made a run. They're a talented team. They they weren't in top first place for uh, for any other reason, but they they're great at what they do and. They showed that and the fight back and how they how they play. But I thought um, for our guys and the way this guy next to me uh, controlled the tempo and and played the constructed our team to execute and finish at the end of the game uh, to get the win was was definitely a key. Is that the best we've seen from Randall, or is there still improvement to come? Look, Randall's he's a hot mess. He can he can go on he can go on streaks and and set things apart. And um, we've seen it at practice and we've seen it in. The game's over in the US, but um, like this is not about one person. He can give more, and I want him to give more to the team. Um, but it's about our group. I'm not here to talk about any individual. But I mean, I know I spoke about Mitch, but it's it's just, this is a team game, and I think for us to really be solid and how we won this game was as a team. Can I just ask one more question on yep. him though? He, I think Leicester in commentary. He's the first player to take ten or more threes in his first three games. Are you Good. Happy that he's taken the owners to take those shots. I would have loved for Dusty to take 10 or more threes a game. And for a player like myself, when I played 10 threes, there's nothing if you can shoot it. Um, but you got to shoot at a good clip, Six right? And so bad. let it, let them fly. It's, it's like 10 layers. It's worth an extra point. And for guys like that, you've got to defend them, chase them, and they can turn corners and create plays like DJ does. So um, they're hard checks, especially if you're playing in the defense that, you know, uh, that Thanks. Sydney Kings were in. And um, it's um, – but a credit to our boys to – Again, take the right shots, uh, and then being able to close out on the defensive end, like holding, holding Sydney to 88 points. You know they've been they're the hottest team in the league in transition, and again they still did that very well, and they lived in the pain against us tonight. Um, and a few things that we'll clean up, but um, I'm happy that we came away with the win. CJ, uh, a bit of trash talk in the week. How much did that sort of motivate you guys, and how satisfying is it to have the final? Yeah, um, you have to ask the players that. For me, it wasn't. I don't get into all that. Like for Paul and what he says, he deserves to say whatever he wants. And as the owner of of the of the team, um, my focus is our guys. And as I said to them behind closed doors, if that's what you, what helps you, then use that. But for me, we're here to be better today, and we need to be the best team today to go and win this game. We're on the road. This is our first road win. Um, we've got two wins in a row, so ticking boxes uh, and setting goals for our team is where I'm at. Uh, as for the outside noise, that's for you guys to keep talking about and keep building up. Um, but for AC not uh, practicing all week, I thought you know he gave us some solid minutes. Um, but Dremick and, and Sunday Detch came in and contributed, and, and I think everyone that play tonight for us and even the guys that didn't play for me I think they're itching to hit the floor and I keep reminding my players that every minute you're out there to give your best because I got certain guys that still yet to touch the floor and when they do they'll be ready Did you feel like the Warriors out there? That's what Paul said. How did it feel like that? No, we're not the Warriors Five, play, five players scoring in double digits tonight How impressed were you with that? Uh, I'd like to have seven players in double figures I think um, you know when Yes, our starters are good and they play a lot of minutes. So getting to double figures, I like to think that all of them can do that. And they've proven that in the past and uh, playing in this league for, for a while. Um, but as for Sunday Detch and Anthony Drimmick, two guys I got that started last year. So having that sort of depth off, you, off your bench, um, and as time goes on, they'll, they'll play a little bit more, I hope, and be able to, again, reach double figures as well. I think when you have seven or eight guys in double figures, it's kind of hard to... Who do you pick your poison? And right now, I think um, the way that we're playing, those guys bring it, and, and Hiram set the energy on the defensive end as well. My starting group is working towards that, but they, they set the right tone this game, and, and they did it against Illawarra, and we need to conti continue to improve on that. I was going to say, I think it was eight points off the bench. Hmm. You're not worried about that? I'm not. The starters are in such control? If the ball's in their hand, I mean, it's for them to make the right decision. And there'll be certain nights that, like you see, Craig's made some some big time buckets for us, and you know this guy has too, and Ro Robo has, and AC's in the preseason he's been on fire. So um, where we're at right now is more sharing the rock um, and making sure that we we get everyone the right shots so that when you get it, but you got to put in the work behind closed doors, and so when it's game time we can deliver when we need to. Two 
two wins in a row, how much confidence does that give you playing two games next week? Yeah, I mean, a little bit of confidence, but again, it's new opponent, um, new strategy, new concepts against them, and you know their strengths are different than Sydney, so um, we're going to have to go back to the drawing board and uh, the coaching staff and put a great game plan in, in place to go and um, make sure we give ourselves every chance to be successful again at home and on the road. Just talking about, a bit about the import players, how much of an impact do they have at training sessions and off the court? Uh, big. I mean, uh, my core group was, was with me last year, um, and so adding three uh, three new Americans and um, it's, it's not easy. And if someone tells you it is, it's it's not. They're kidding themselves. And but for working through on a, a day in between games from the Jack Jumpers to the Hawks, let's just say it wasn't my best week uh, being it with the 36ers dealing with my team. But where I'm at is I'm happy with a response. As you know, in this game, you need to bounce back and you need to respond to certain things. And we, we got a lot of professionals on our team and how we continue to come together as this season goes on is going to be a big key for us. You mentioned someone who was here last season. What's felt different between this campaign and the last one? Oh, it's so early. Um, so um, I don't want to get ahead of ourselves. I mean, um, you know, we've got a road win to start you know, uh, the season for us, which is great. Um, you know, we struggled on the road last year and it was hard to build momentum as a group because you get a really good home win and then drop one on the road right after and kind of kill that. So, um, yeah, as, as CJ's mentioned, I'm just really happy with the response that we had from last week. You know, we, we knew we weren't at the level on Thursday night and we got shown up on our home court. And, and since then, we've been lifting the level and that's the goal of the season, really. Mitch. Just like you touched on there, the best thing about these last two performances is how well you're coming together as a team and you've all bought in defensively and you're all happy to, to share the ball and, and, and wait, wait until you get the right look offensively. How much, how pleased are you that as talented as you are, you actually are being able to show that you can play as a team? Yeah, that's something that the coaching staff and us as a playing group um, are really starting to understand. You know, we, we do have a lot of guys who have scored the ball well in, in their career so far or have really developed some skills in the off season that they want to go to. And we love that. You know, we love having different tools that we can bring in off the bench that we can start at different positions that can score for us. But um, this league isn't the NBA where guys get to just jack whatever they want all the time. And unfortunately, teams are going to uh, take away what you want to do most of the time. So um, for us, you know, we really want to spread the ball, share it early, get everyone involved in the game and then uh, let our main guys take over when the time's right. It's been a pretty hectic month or so. You, you, you went over to Perth for a, for a couple of pre-season games, you go up to Darwin for the Blitz, you go over to the, to the US for those games and then you come back home and, and play two games almost immediately. You've now got a week in between before you play next Friday night. How important is that going to be just to, I guess, get, get your legs back under you more than anything? Yeah, we, we um, probably backed off a little bit um, in terms of practices, you know, uh, after the double header when we got home, um, you know, we just had a couple more days where it was uh, a bit less scrimmage or we had another day off in there just to make sure we, you know, that wasn't an excuse and it never was. But, you know, we wanted to make sure our legs were under us. We were focused. We were ready mentally and physically. So, um, yep, the schedule is what it is. We're going to have times where, you know, we've got high traffic periods and we've got a lot of games on the road or at home. And then we're going to have times where now where we go, I think we've got a week between the game, as you mentioned. So um, it's a good chance for us to go home and get ready, have a whole week to prepare for, I think, New Zealand coming into town. Thank you. Anyone else? Anyone else?